Hey, it's Sean, your wasted knowledge bartender, font of all knowledge that your bartender imparted upon you, and then you promptly forgot because you were drinking. Yeah, that's what happens. Anyway, uh, I got a note from a friend of mine, Josh, who asked if I could talk about the last word. He had just had one for the first time and wanted me to share with you. Last word is the cocktail that you order when you go into a cocktail bar or a bar of any kind, and you want the bartender to know that you know about cocktails. We also know that you're going to do that, so you don't have to unless you like it. But it's a good cocktail, so there's no reason to, to not like it unless you don't like maybe gin. However, this is one of those cocktails that is very well balanced and will not throw you over the edge as far as, like, oh no, gin. It's, it's got some complex flavors going on. It uses uh, Luxardo Maraschino liqueur, green chartreuse, gin, and lime juice. Equal parts, you're good to go, unless you're following the original recipe. Originally, the cocktail came out in 1910 to 1915-ish, somewhere in there. Different sources cited first published in 1916 in the, oh, I'm forgetting which month. I want to say fall or December issue of the Dallas Athletic Club uh, magazine, which is where the cocktail is attributed to. It's published again in 1950. And then again in the 2000s, it's a bartender in Seattle, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the name, against an M, that kind of brought it back to prevalence with their love of craft cocktails. So that's the history of it. But what about the thing itself? Oh, and the thing itself, originally, it was two parts gin to one part of all the other ingredients. That's up to you. Before we even get into it, I have to talk about something else. Chartreuse uh, is undergoing a global shortage right now, specifically green chartreuse, which is what's used in the last word. So it's hard to get a hold of. Uh, I've checked quite a few places around and they just don't have it. This is mainly due to two things. The biggest one being that the Chartreusean monks who make chartreuse, the only ones who know how to make it, I decided to put a cap on their production back in, since back in 2021, I believe. And I said, hey, we're only going to do 1.2 million bottles a year, maybe barrels, one of the two, 1.2 million units. <laughs> so that's caused the most part of the shortage. They say, hey, we're monks. We need to concentrate on prayer and reflection. We can't be making you guys drunk all the time. So... So that's the biggest part. The other part is also right around that same time, 2020, 2021, a lot of people are at home making cocktails. So everyone all of a sudden are buying full bottles of chartreuse, whereas this used to sit behind a bar and you can make a couple last words a week and that was it. And everyone was like, I got you. So that's, cl that's cluttered things up. Uh, this is actually a yellow chartreuse. It's a different formula. So although it has some of the same notes that you would get, uh, it's it tastes different. You could still use it though. It's gonna have so the yellowness actually comes from saffron in this. Uh, the green comes from uh, chlorophyll, green leafy green leafy bits in the green chartreuse. Um, this is slightly lower proof. This is eighty proof instead of one hundred and ten, so it's not gonna have the same kind of kick. Uh, but like I said, you could still use it. I would maybe up it by a quarter ounce just to get the flavoring or at least the uh, alcohol content right. Uh, you can also use just something else. A lot of people make botanical spirits. Um, Genepi is the one that comes to mind. And actually, as I was researching, wait a minute, what is the thing with chartreuse? I thought it was just the at-home alcoholics. It turns out it was the monks too. Uh, but so a lot of people use Genepi, which is delicious by itself. Um, and actually, actually, yeah, after you have this cocktail, you'll start to like chartreuse. It's creepy. So there's options out there. Look around. It'll be okay. The cocktail itself. Let's make that since I've been rambling for a minute. Standard cocktail is three quarter ounce of everything. So three quarter ounce of lime juice, three quarter ounce of green chartreuse if you can find it. Otherwise, I'm going to add a little extra splash in there for the monks. Three quarter ounce of Luxardo Maraschino. If you see a tall bottle, tall green bottle with a red cap and a wire or a wicker wrap. Uh, you found it. Lovely flavor to this. Normally, this would be a lot to put in a cocktail, but uh, like I said, this is a very well balanced cocktail with the ingredients, so that is okay. And we're going to go with our standard three quarter ounces of gin. Whoop. A little bit on the bar mat. And unlike most gin shot cocktails, 
I would uh, have for people. You do shake this one. I don't normally shake gin, but it's necessary in this case. Rice your ears. Look at that. It was even loud for me. Mm, delicious. Oh, there it is. Taste it. I like to put it in the coupe glass. Kind of up to you. And garnish the brandied or your favorite cultured cherry. You know what? I'm going to put that right in there. So I think it'll look cute sitting at the top like that. So there we go. That is the last word. Cheers. It is a really good cocktail. <laughs> I know I've been talking about it. I know I've made it many times. It's a solid cocktail. So there you have it. I hope you enjoy it yourselves. I hope you drink responsibly and get a safe ride home. I'll see you next time. Cheers.